These peonies I'm talking about are known as herbaceous peonies. That means they die back to the ground. I'm not talking about tree peonies, which are different yet. One of the things you're going to notice is quite a few different types. We have the anemone type with the little petaloids in the center. Then we have the doubles, and you can see the white double and the red double, and then we also have the singles, and there's also Japanese types. So there's a lot of different types that you can have in a garden. One thing to keep in mind, if you are gonna use them as cut flowers, don't take all the stems off the peony, because the foliage produces the buds for next year. And usually what I do is I cut about two thirds of the stem, I leave a little bit of the stem with leaves, remove some of the lower leaves, and you can put them in water. You can also cut them where in tight bud, they will last and bloom maybe in two or three weeks. There are some maintenance issues that we do need to talk about with peonies. Peonies are a long-lived plant, but they are subject to a few disease problems. The most common one is botrytis blight. It's where the bud sort of turns black, sometimes gray, and does not fully open. Another disease problem might be leaf blotch, where the leaves sort of turn brown. The other issue might be powdery mildew, which shows up in the summer as a white powdery coating. There are a couple things that you can do to eliminate this. One of them is to spray with fungicides according to the label direction. And you would start when the plants might be six inches tall, 12 inches tall again, maybe 24 inches tall every two weeks with the recommended fungicide. That will help prevent some of these problems. The last thing you can do in the fall, end of August, September, October, you can remove all the foliage completely to the ground. Remember, these are herbaceous. They die back to the ground. Cut them to the ground, throw away the old foliage, because sometimes that old foliage will have disease spores for the following year. These are long-lived plants. They're also known as heirloom plants, sometimes Mother's Day plants. They can live in a garden 50 to 100 years. On top of all of that, they love clay soils, which most of us have. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time In the Garden. For more garden tips, go to InTheGardenRadio.com.